Hey guys, Money Man 300 and got another tuning video here. Sticking with our class as we continue to fill out uh, some of these higher classes uh, with cars that I can drive. This time we have the number 62 F458 Italia. Interesting car here. This is the car that I used and had a couple requests to, to build it or not to build it, but to show the, the tune on it. And this is the car that I used when I did the uh, the racing line video. So a little different paint job. I think I had something white on it. This is the default out of the box uh, paint job on it here. So um, we'll get out here on the track and show you our, uh, our lap that we ran. And then uh, we'll head over into the garage and take a look at the parts in the tune. Okay, so here is the lap with the, with the car. And this was my fourth lap. And the, it actually took me a little after the first lap to get the tires all warmed up and things, so it's really only my second full lap after. And the rival again is in about 500th place. Might have been just a, just a bit higher because that's about where the rival that I had already was. So I just, you know, I just grabbed him and and did that. So um, like I said the car handles really well. You can see that here. Gets good turn, a good acceleration. You can see where I can kind of I beat this guy out on the acceleration right there. Uh, good speed down. You're going to hit uh, just about 180 miles an hour down this this longer straightaway here, uh, as you'll see coming all the way down. It's a fun car to drive. I'm, I haven't driven it in. I don't think. Well, maybe I did drive it in multiplayer a little bit uh, a few days ago. So and did and did well there too. Like I said, good short to mid track, kind of like this track is here as I come around through the uh, through the end here. Got him by a little bit, and we will zip on through here and see what we got. Bang, beat him. <laughs> Get our little spin out at the end. And uh, let's skip over to uh, the placement here. Well, okay, as you can see, we finished 451st, and that's not great, but not bad after only a couple of laps, and I'm not very good at driving that track. I haven't driven a whole lot. Uh, definitely can do a lot better. Going to be a really good leaderboard car and a lobby car, so let's head over to the garage and check out our parts and tune. Okay, so here we are over in the garage. So let's um, top in and take a look at our parts and tune. So this is an interesting car. There aren't a lot of parts you can put on it. So you're not going to find a lot of variations in the build on this car. This one's really all about a little bit of tuning and a lot of driving. So um, let's hop in and take a quick look. We'll just start here. There is no engine conversion. And there's not a lot of things you can do in the engine except um, remove your restrictor. Restrictor. So that's what we did there, full removing of the restrictor. And if we take a look at our numbers, we have 7.4 for speed, 6.7 handling, 9.4 acceleration, 9.2 launch, and 7.4 braking. So, you know, when you compare this to the last class R car that I did, the Saline S7, this one's a little more handling. That one was like 9.7 and 6.2. Uh, speed and handling this one's seven four six seven so you're gonna want to run this one on some of the a little bit smaller tracks you know um, it's gonna handle a little better gonna turn definitely better than the other one but it's not gonna be as fast as, as the saline nice nice g short to mid track car uh, and a lot of fun to drive very uh, a lot of acceleration so um, as you can see there uh, let's look at the uh, horsepower numbers 616 horsepower 500 508 foot pounds of torque 2,766 pounds, 42% to the front, and 4.5 liters of displacement. So that is our number. So let's hop back on out here into the next section, which is drivetrain. There is, you don't even go into platform and handling, it just comes with everything. So you don't even have to worry about putting all that on. And the only thing you can put on here is a drive line, and we have that. So, like I said, there aren't a lot of parts to put on here. Arrow is already all included, all those things. Even the tires, uh, the only thing you can do is come out here and put drag tires on, and obviously I did not do that. So uh, we'd have the stock tire compound, which in this case happens to be race. And then I did go with the widest tires on the front, the 335s, as well as the widest tires on the rear. So uh, same thing. And I left the, the wheels at stock. These are the lightest wheels. You can't find any wheels uh, lighter than this. Uh, on this build so uh, and that means we did not make any changes to our rim sizes so that's really all there is for parts like i said there isn't a whole lot you can do with this car uh, you basically put everything on there takes you up to a full 900 and let's hop over and take a look at our tune so 28 and 28 pretty standard you know i didn't even check this in telemetry now that i think about it so 
maybe there's a little something there you can make sure that that this is getting heated up to the right spot getting to that 33 to 35 psi and somewhere between 210 and 230 degrees and even between the front and the back so um, but I, I 28 and 28 i usually start around there and I, I didn't even check it but it felt fine when i was driving around the track 3.75 for the final drive i did bring that down a little bit um there's probably another gear you can, you can see when you look at the look at the chart we're really only using um five gears here there is a sixth uh, sixth gear in there but i geared this for just the five it was a little too torquey and running through the gears too fast and i'll do that sometimes on these so uh, if you're on a, on a longer track if you happen to use this on a longer track you'll you'll probably get into that sixth gear but this is really for uh the track for the yas marina north that i drove it on uh really geared for just uh, uh five of the or five speeds so uh the alignment two negative 2.2 1.8 not quite as much negative as i usually have in there it got a little twitchy and a little turn in early um, when i had more in there so i kind of backed that off a little bit and that's what i ended up with and a zero and negative 0.5 that's the default that's a lot of negative uh, rear toe but uh, or toe in uh, but i left it assuming there was a reason they did it that way and and the car felt fine so i didn't really see any need to change it and 5.0 on our caster angle roll bars 14.4 and 10.59 not too far off the default if i remember right just slightly softer in both of those and then we have 658 pounds um, in the springs in the front and 612 in the rear uh, this started out i think the other way around um, in a more of an oversteer tune and I understeer tuned it a little bit just to keep that back end in check uh, like I mentioned before driving this I was driving it with traction control you can drive it without I just have to have a really good throttle finger uh, but I was using traction control and, and probably will with this car uh, I did raise the, the ride height the default is all the way down I needed to raise it it was it was twitchy and, and coming apart uh, you know breaking the wheels loose when I went over the turning strips so I did raise those up to 3.4 and 3.4 and that felt good uh, rebound, uh, I believe the rear is default. The front I bumped way up. It was in the 7 range, I think. So I ended up with 11.0 and 10.7. Again, slightly understeer tuned with the front being a little bit stiffer than the rear. Is that right? Understeer tuned? Yeah, that's correct. And then uh, 1.2 and 1.0, so really, really soft and on that. And those started obviously significant higher uh, like they normally do arrow I left in the middle. I played around with the arrow a little bit, went all the way up, came back in the middle. Being that this is a little bit more of a short to mid track, I didn't really feel the need to go all the way with the downforce, so I just left it in the middle. It's something that you certainly could play around with and see if you found something that you're a little more comfortable with. Braking 53 and 125, pretty standard there. Um, I did lock them up occasionally when I was driving it, so uh, it might be an area, again, like it usually is that I could kind of still play around with a little more, maybe get a, even a little more dialed in. A little bit higher than normal on the uh, on the acceleration and deceleration, 35% uh, acceleration and 50% deceleration on there. Uh, the deceleration actually felt pretty good at 50%, and it was kind of nice on some of those longer, on that kind of longer sweeping turn in, uh, uh, in Yas Marina North that I could use the you know just come off the throttle and not have to brake and just kind of get around that turn like that and that's what that that higher uh, deceleration in the rear was able to do for me on that track so uh, that's all of the uh, parts and uh, and tuning for this tuning numbers so uh, this is going to be a good you know another another solid car to have in our class uh, be able to put some leaderboard times up on on a few of these tracks and uh, definitely uh, be driving that in the lobbies too so uh, thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one later